Hello my beautiful viewers from my channel, James Higgins Open World, what I thought I'd talk about now is, is music and a bit of a general chit chat and a bit of a laugh really. Well I mean I'm 53 this year in August, hint 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 hint, <laughs> right and uh, I keep wondering, you know, I keep wondering, you know, when are we going to get another great rock band like uh, uh, the Rolling Stones or Iron Maiden or Oasis, you know, the Who. Uh, where, when, I, you know, I mean, I mean, I, these. Where is the next Oasis? Oasis came out in the nineties, and they were the best band in thirty years. <clears throat> the lead singer was a guy called Liam Gallagher, and he he was in with his brother Noel Gallagher. And in the original lineup, there was Bonehead, Quincy, and Tony McCarroll. That was the original lineup of uh, the original Oasis. And the first debut album was definitely Maybe. Now, definitely Maybe. And uh, what's the story, Morning Glory? To me, to me, definitely Maybe, especially, was probably one of the best debut albums ever, to be honest. Really, uh, in that genre of music, you know, uh, but will we ever see another band like that? I mean, to me at the moment, I mean, music, uh, especially rock music, there is the odd band uh, that's still going, like, that's still great, like the Foo Fighters, and uh. Before that, he was Nirvana. The uh, lead singer of the Foo Fighters is Dave Grohl, and he was the drummer for, for Nirvana. And Kurt Cobain, he commits suicide, and uh, they're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, I think even the Foo Fighters might be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as well. Uh, so there is the odd band there. I mean, Metallica is still going. Iron Maiden still going in there, a great band. Uh, even White Snake might still be going. I don't know, but uh, you know, I feel sorry for the young. I mean, the young at the moment. I mean, you love, you love Liam Gallagher, the young, you know. But this, but as Noel said the other night the, on a, an interview, so on YouTube, you know, I mean, Noel's in Noel's in his early fifties. And uh, Liam's coming up to being 50, you know, and so these young 20, 18, 20 odd year olds, 30 year, are looking up to near enough 50 year olds, you know. Where's, right, like Noel said on an interview, where's their oasis? You know, where are, where, where are these guys, you know, who are going to, who, who could form another rock and roll super group like Oasis? Where are they, these young guys, you know? It's all out there for the taking. I mean, they could take the crown, the Oasis crown. It's there. You know, we just need some young guys, 20 odd year olds, to take the Oasis crown and, and get rock and roll moving forward again. You know, with a new Oasis. I'm not saying call yourself Oasis, obviously, that'd be a tribute band. You know, but a, a new rock and roll band for the young, you know, and what have you. Because, I mean, a lot, I don't, I, I can't, there isn't many young rock and roll bands out there who are coming through. I, I can't see them, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, where are they? You know what I mean? Honestly, I mean, I, I, I've got the perfect name, really. Because I write songs, you see. So, uh, uh, a friend of mine was in the music business. I write songs, uh, uh, never had any published. It's just a hobby. You know, it's just a hobby. Never had any published, but uh, my friend used to read him. He's been in the music business, did about 100 and odd albums. He's sadly passed away now. John, a uh, Scottish friend of mine, he's passed, passed away a few years back. Uh, he showed me how to uh, to do a song like the verses, the choruses, the bridges and all. He showed me how to do it. He did say to me, I could have been a lyrical genius, you know, with some of the songs. I sent one to... Uh, a, uh, 
a music publisher. I called him a lyrical lottery ticket, you know. I used to send him. Sent a few, not many, but I sent quite a few to the music industry. I got one back and he said that he'd, they'd like uh, to hear someone sing it, the lyrics, you know. Because uh, that's the way uh, Elton John and Bernie Toopin, Bernie Toopin used to write the lyrics and Elton John would put the music to it. But some people don't do it that way. Some people do the music first and then the lyrics after to go with the song. But I'm... I like, I like writing poetry and I write songs. I've written about 90 songs to 100 songs, you know. I find it very relaxing, to be honest with you. But mine are more story songs, you know. So I, think, I just find it relaxing. You know, it helps me with my issues. In, but I've got a few issues here and there, which I'm not, I'm not going to tell you about, but just a few issues, health issues, you know. But I'm okay. Uh, and everything, you know, I'm on tablets for the rest of your life, one of them, but, but I'm okay. I'm not on death's door. You know, a clairvoyant said I, live as I would live until I was 96. You know, die in my bed, she said, at the Bristol Bloom Fiesta, where uh, Betsy Lee, so a big thumbs up to Betsy Lee. So hopefully I will live till 96, you know. Yeah, she, she was, she's a really nice, she was a really nice lady, Betsy Lee. Uh, so a big thumbs up to Betsy Lee. Uh, but yeah, uh, I just think music's... An, Apart from like people like Adele, who her voice is just just blows you away, doesn't it? Really, you know, her voice. Uh, but I have, I'll tell you what, I have got into lately over the last year or so is the Beatles, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison. Obviously, George Harrison's dead, and uh, John Lennon was murdered in 1980. I can't believe that's over 40 years ago. I'm 50, I was born in 68. I remember that. Unbelievable. Oh, I remember the start of the 80s. What a decade that was. For music and TV. It was amazing. The 70s were good as well. But the band of the 90s was Oasis. There's no two ways about it, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I just wonder where, when, when are we going to get a band, a young band of kids, you know, young band, band of young guys, 20 odd, <clears throat> as in a new rock band to take take the crown from Oasis, take the crown from the Rolling Stones, the Who, and all the rest of them. And let's have a new young band, rock band, you know, what have you. I, I, I believe the, the kids today are really crying out for it, really. You know, I mean, yeah, they've got Liam, I mean, Liam Gallagher, this two albums, you love him, you know. Some of them want to be him, even though he's near enough 50, you know. Well, his, and his, his two albums he did were good. His two solo albums, Liam Gallagher, they were good, you know. But uh, Noel Gallagher, I mean, he's a lyrical genius. There's no two ways about it. But to me, Noel Gallagher, he, he's a lyrical genius, but... For me personally, I prefer his stadium rock, uh, his stadium rock uh, lyrics, the Oasis stuff, especially the first two albums because they're my favourite. You know, the first two albums. You know, so it's I hope it's, it's just I would love Noel to do a, a rock album, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. I don't think it suits his voice, to be honest with you. You know, and Noel and Liam have said this. Uh, before now, Noel, Noel said that uh, without Liam, he would never have made it. And Liam said that without Noel, his brother, he would have never have made it. They were like, you know, oof. they were, they needed both each other. But tragically, they don't talk anymore, you know. Sad for his mum, really, but there you go. Anyway, that's just, that's just me uh, having a bit of a whine about music, because I love music, you know. I really do love music. I just want to see a young rock band, you know, taking the crown off Oasis and off uh, the Rolling Stones and that, you know, what have you, and carrying it, taking the torch and carrying it forward for all the young band, for, for their generation, you know. They need a rock band for their generation, the 20-odd-year-olds. That's what they need, in my opinion. I'll even give them a name. I've got a fantastic name for, for a rock band, Magic. Yes, magic. 
That'd be an amazing name for a rock band, Magic. I can even see the poster, you know. I can even see the poster. Ghouls, bloody... Uh, <clears throat> ghouls, uh, Spectres, uh, Witches, uh, Bats. And the band in front was a massive big bloody guitar. Electric guitar, you know. And the lead singer as well. You know, lead singer there and there. And a big guitar here, you know what I mean? A big, 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 big drum set at the back. I can see the poster in my mind's eye, you know what I mean? Magic. What a name for a rock band, isn't it? I came up with that. Magic. Bloody fantastic it'd be. But anyway, you can dream, can't you? Anyway, it's just me having a bit of a whine about uh, music, because I love music. Love it. Absolutely love music. Anyway, thanks for listening. And uh, keep watching James Higgins Open World. Thank you very much. See you on the next one.